In recent years, digital technology has intensified the quest for human efficiency. As each new model tops the last, one wonders how far this can go. What does the epitome of technical efficiency look like? As it turns out, we don't have to look far for the ultimate in efficiency. It's all around us, in nature. Nature is optimal. Nature wants to be optimal and uh, waste as less energy as possible. Dr. Alessio Fagali of the University of Texas at Austin has chosen to focus on the math found in nature to further the study of a concept that has intrigued mathematicians for centuries, optimal transport. The optimal transport problem, simply put, is, given a certain cost, what is the most efficient way to move an object from one place to another? Basically, mathematicians have tried for a long time to understand whether there is really a way to transport resources from a place to another in the most efficient way. It's not clear that such a way exists. It's not clear whether one can compute it. Optimal transport applies to a variety of fields, such as economics and urban planning, but it is also seen in nature. Specifically, Alessio and his team have focused on optimal transport as it pertains to the formation of crystals. Alessio and his team wanted to know what changes when you add energy to a crystal. For example, what happens when you change its temperature? The simplest example could be take a crystal and start to heat the crystal. So this way you give some energy to the crystal and the crystal will start to deform. And then you may ask, okay, how much the crystal is going to deform in terms of the energy I gave to it? By comparing the original crystal shape to the crystal that has been heated, Alessio was able to identify nature's innate progress in moving the particles of the crystal from one place to another. Knowing how optimal transport works in nature has allowed Alessio and his team to help solve this historic math problem that can be found everywhere, even in meteorology. What happens is the following. You have to think that clouds are made of particles, small particles of water. So if you want to understand how clouds evolve in time, what you do is that you say, okay, how does each particle evolve during time? The more you know, mathematically speaking, about these equations, the more accurate and efficient your predictions become. For the past year, Alessio has used his newfound understanding of how cloud particles move to create equations to predict cloud movement. It turns out that if you look at how the cloud looks like, let's say at some fixed time, and then at some later time, and you look at how each particle has moved in time, then you discover that the particles have decided to move in an optimal way. So the way a particle moved has been in the cheapest possible way. Equations developed by Alessio and his team could allow meteorologists to be more accurate and efficient in their weather forecasts potentially improving advanced warning systems for severe weather. A true mathematician, Alessio is interested in solving all kinds of problems and finding the solutions in unlikely places. In the mathematics, he's one of the best person his generation around. I mean, I don't know, uh, I don't know how many you could compare with him right now. Being a researcher is a complicated job, but is probably best job I could think of <laughs> because you have to be creative, you need passion of course, but basically your job is to find things that no one found before. It's a challenge but it's also an enormous satisfaction once you succeed in what uh, you're trying to do.